comment section. Well, it's not really a debate, but <laughs> it's like 50-50 with everyone saying, where 50% of people are saying Journey looks like Jeremy and the other half are saying that um, Journey looks like me and vice versa. Like the people who are saying Journey looks like me are saying Jai looks like Jeremy and the people are, who are saying Journey looks like Jeremy are saying Jai looks like me. Me and Babe have came to our own conclusions about our girls. And it's so like crazy to see what you guys are saying because, oh, hey, pretty girl. Journey is eating. She's smiling because mama just got here. Hey. I'm not gonna pick her up until she's done eating. Um just to make sure she doesn't have a Brady episode, I want her to focus on, you know, getting full and not trying to multitask, multitask with um, being active with me and stuff like that. She hasn't had as many, well, she wasn't even having that many Brady episodes. When I told you guys about it, she probably had like two uh, up, up until that point. And then they told me that she had one this morning, but whenever I'm here, she doesn't have one when she's eating. So it's so weird. I'm like, maybe I need to be here every time she's eating. I was just trying to find any reason to be up here, you guys. I was asking the nurse, I was like, well, she's not doing it with me. Do you think I should come up here? She was like, no, mama. <laughs> no, mama. Hey, pretty girl. Hey. Daddy's at home cooking dinner, and then he's going to head up here. And you guys, I um, it's my milk flows a lot faster whenever I'm um, pumping with the girls so I try to get here around their feeding times and stuff because it's so crazy like my milk just like p rushes out hey journey can't wait to pick you up and y'all know my sweet sweet Jaya she's knocked out her feeding starts at 10 so she's not eating right now she's just sleeping hey Jaya Mommy washed your clothes and brought them back. All the clothes you spit up on. So beautiful, baby girl. I love you so much. Did I tell you guys what we thought? So we actually think that Journey favors me the most and Jai Bear favors Jeremy the most. That's what we think. Um, yeah. Now, Journey definitely has my nose, and now that I'm looking, she does. She does have my ears. Um, she just doesn't have my hair. My hair wasn't like this as a baby. Hey, hey, girl. But she definitely does have characteristics as Jeremy. Like I feel like we're like sometimes I look at her and I see Jeremy, and then other times I look at her and I see myself. Hey. You want to get up? Oh, but she got you all tucked in so cute in here. Oh, she wants to get up, you guys. I know. Both of them. Look at them. Like, they're such big girls. Such big girls. Now, when they go home, obviously, they only sleep on their backs. It's okay for them to be on their stomachs now because they're hooked up to monitors. So, I know a few people had asked in the comments, like, oh, why are they on their stomachs? Or, oh, why are they... Why are they this or why are they that? And that's because they're hooked up to monitors. So we can see everything and it helps the doctors ac accurately. Um, oh, Journey, you, I mean, Jaya Bear, you were eating. Oh, they must increase your feeding time. One hour, oh yeah, it's one hour and 30 minutes. Okay, 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 that makes sense. So she was at the end of her food. But yeah, so it's, eight, it's it allows the doctors to accurately see like which baby um, is able, like if they do have a Brady episode, which baby is able to come back from it, which one needs a little bit more assistance and stuff like that so they can relay that to the parent. Um, my big girl, you're finished feeding? You're finished? You're finished? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I know. Oh, my big girl. So we think that Jaya Bear favors Jeremy the most. And Jaya Bear has Jeremy's ears clear as day. But she also has his facial features to me. 
but I do see myself in um, Jaya like I do see myself in her and as far as their mannerisms are concerned Jaya Bear is more of the sassy one she doesn't want to be bothered when she doesn't want to be bothered i.e. if she's resting and sleeping or anything like that and you try to change her she's like uh-uh or bath time she's like uh-uh <laughs> isn't that right cutie look at you I just want to pick my baby girl up I just want to pick you up pretty girl I am going to pick you up though and then Journey she's calm but she's so like I feel like both of them are actually very aware like as you guys saw in the last vlog like when Jai was pretty much up out of her sleep when I come around she's very aware she's trying to get up she's trying to see me she's trying to turn her head she's very aware um journey is the same way like she's very aware when me or Jeremy come around she's very aware but journey is also very like demanding she's like you need to come right back over here mama you need to come right back over here daddy I need something from you I need some good loving isn't that right, my beautiful queen? Look at you. I just love my girls so much. Love them so much. Mommy has to pump soon. So I've got a pump. I'm going to pick up Chai Bear. Tell them how amazing you just did. Look at you. You guys. She knows I'm talking to her, so she's opening up her eyes. We just did our lactation. Tell them how good you did, pretty girl. You don't want to talk about it? Oh, look at her. Now she's trying to move up. She did so good, you guys. You know, look at Journey. She's knocked out. Well, she's kind of knocked out because she's definitely kicking her mother in her belly. She's propped up on the poppy. And as you guys can see, I have my pump right here. Oh, this is the hospital pump, but I just bring my parts and my stuff so that I can pump next to them. Um, so we are finished with the lactation appointment. Both girls did amazing. Jai Bear is back in her crib and journey went second so she's still right here i actually ended up having to pump right after um journey was done with her lick fest because she did not well she sucked a little bit she left the nipple in her mouth but she wanted to lick more so than anything but um she said the girls did amazing so i'm so happy for the both of them and we're going to continue to make progress like i said they are on my milk completely so the girls are gaining weight like crazy i believe she said that journey is three pounds five um and jai bear is three pounds six now like they're growing like wildfire and i'm so happy i'm so happy so yeah you guys let me go ahead and get all my cords and stuff put up and get my baby girl moved back to her crib and then i can show y'all me because right now i'm all i'm i got a lot of stuff going on with this pump um because i got my um bra thingy on and it's just a lot hey guys so i'm leaving the hospital i am headed home i'm so thirsty you guys but i didn't feel like stopping on any extra floor to get anything oh my gosh you guys that's what um alexis had told me you guys i had to call the police this is so scary the police are in here right now yes we got to get this thing out yes it ran to the front door okay guys so i need to tell y'all what the freak just freaking happened and everything is all fun and games until it gets real so remember i had a the sun is going down literally so well it's actually already down because it's about five o'clock i need to prop y'all up so let me see i came to the bathroom my handy dandy 
hot spot dang that's not enough stuff i could have swear i propped y'all up the other day in here and it was okay okay guys so i think i'm good to go now but anyways i gotta make this quick because i'm about to head out to my dad's birthday dinner me and my sister take him out today is his birthday and by the way my nieces my second niece malia's birthday was um a few days ago i didn't mention in the vlog because her actual birthday event is this saturday so i was gonna be vlogging that but yeah so happy birthday to the vlog for malia because she already heard me tell her tell her because i already called her and all that other stuff but yeah so her birthday party is this weekend um but yeah so my dad's birthday is today me and my sister are about to take him to dinner like i said and um yeah but anyways y'all let me tell y'all what the freak just happened so this is literally like deja vu this is so crazy because when jeremy told me about that squirrel and him not laying eyes completely on that squirrel leaving out of the house something in the back of my mind told me that squirrel is still in his house but i didn't hear anything i didn't see anything so i left it alone until today so i get home and i had just got the phone with my mom because my mom had called me and asked me um was i done with the girl's lactation appointment by the way if you guys did not know the lactation appointment is just for the girls to start getting acclimated with my boobs so that they can start breastfeeding um for my boobs because they have to pass that um feeding test before they can go home right now they're eating through the tube that goes through their nose to their bellies but before your baby leaves the hospital um they have to well the NICU I don't know about the whole hospital thing but from the NICU they have to pass the feeding test which means that for me they have to be able to breastfeed if breastfeeding doesn't work they have to be able to bottle feed but anyways you guys both girls are doing great like I said fast forward my mom was asking you know how how did everything go and she was like oh yeah me and Tony her husband had just left and Jeremy had just left so she was like okay just call me when you make it home y'all well, i get home i'm making through the door and next thing you know i look down and i'm seeing some particles from the glass so y'all that just scared me i thought i heard something but anyways i saw some particles from the glass i'm like did someone break the glass like what's going on my mom just left out of here she would have told me like did she hit the glass like what's going on so i took my shoe and i start like tapping over it to see you know how glass sounds on the ground so i'm like trying to see if it sounds like glass and it doesn't sound like glass but i can tell it's from my door window i'm like what the heck y'all next thing you know i hear a noise in the kitchen i'm like i'm being really quiet because i'm like oh my gosh i'm like well maybe babe is still here maybe he didn't really leave i know my mom left because i didn't see her car but babe's car wasn't in the garage before i left so i'm like well maybe he pulled it into the garage i don't know but i heard a thorough noise now when i was living in apartments i have been living in apartments since i moved out of my mom's house so it's been a while a while since i have lived inside of a house but when you live in apartments you know depending on where you're where you're at you'll hear noise above you below you beneath uh, or on the side see you so when i lived in an apartment it was always like oh, okay i hear a noise blah 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 it's like probably the neighbor neighbors making noise up there or below me or beside me but you guys when you live in a house every noise that you hear is coming from inside of your house so beware so i'm like oh my gosh but i know safety precautions for different things so i knew not to talk not to yell out and say babe or anything like that if i wasn't sure it's him because for safety reasons so i just slowly but surely walk upstairs and go to the room and i'm like oh my gosh so i kind of sort of closed my doors to my bedroom and i call babe and babe is like oh my gosh babe i was i was just thinking about you da, 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 da. and i'm like are you in the house <laughs> and he's like no like what do you mean i just left out and i'm like someone's in the house you guys literally right after babe was like oh my gosh i was just thinking about you blah 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 i hear a noise on the steps so i closed my door so softly and i locked it and i'm like oh my gosh someone is in this house but they're not making any noise out of their mouth it's just i hear a noise and it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger up to the top of the stairs so i'm like babe someone is in this house right now our cameras don't even get hooked up i think until tomorrow they come out and hook hook all of our cameras up because y'all know we don't play all that when it comes to our safety so i'm like oh my gosh like what's going on so babe was like call the police right now i got the phone call the police so i called the police y'all when i say they had like freaking eight cars come filled with like two or three officers each like it is crazy so there's 
a lot of windows in my room so i can see the back area towards the pool and i can see the front towards the the neighborhood so i'm going to the back um seeing i can hear all the police officers out there trying to fiddle around in the back make sure nothing is broken in then i go to the front and i'm seeing all the officers y'all neighbors are coming out of their houses i'm so embarrassed because they're probably thinking something crazy is going on in here like all the neighbors are just like walking out and towards our garage area and we're able to look in and see that they're like, it looks like an animal is in there. But I guess all the walkie talkie noise and stuff startled the animal that they thought they saw so they couldn't see it anymore. So they had like told the 911 dispatcher like, hey, I think there's an animal in there. And I'm like, animal? So immediately I think back to that freaking squirrel. And I'm like, I just know that freaking squirrel is not in this house and has not been chilling out in this house for the last two or three days. So she told me like I had to go and open up the door for the officer because there was nothing that was broken or they would have to break the door down if I was just too scared to come out. So anyways, you guys, I like kind of ran down as fast as I could with me trying to heal from my C-section, ran out the door and all the officers came in and everything. They were so nice. They all came in and searched the whole house and were like, they think they saw an animal, but they can't find the animal. So they was telling me call the exterminators and all this other stuff. They gave me a number. And I'm just like, y'all, I heard an animal. One of y'all saw an animal and y'all are leaving. Like I'm not staying in this house by myself with an animal on the loose. And I'm thinking it has to be this dang old squirrel. They're like, well, there's nothing we can do, man. We can't find it. It's not coming out. Like, it's way more scared of you than you are of it. And then some of them, were, like, they tell me, oh, you can, like, they hunt animals. They were trying to tell me funny things. I can. I'm like, look, this this is not no game to me. But they were they were really really nice. But luckily, a few of the officers had stayed behind because I guess they were writing up the report or whatever they were doing. And um, I called my mom and I was letting her know. Uh, no, actually my mom was calling me. So my mom was calling me like, hey, did you make it home? And I'm like, yeah, I just had a freaking call to police. So she's like, what? So I told her what happened. Y'all, so literally there was a moment where I paused and I just didn't say anything on the phone because I was listening to my mom. And I'm standing on the top of my freaking stairwell and the freaking squirrel runs out to go out the door, but the door is still closed. So the door, they ran out and noticed the door was closed. And then I screamed so loud like I was like ah. like I started running it was crazy y'all <laughs> I was screaming so loud but I screamed so loud and the squirrel like took off running and I could just hear them back in the kitchen area doing something in that kitchen my mom was like you gotta run out there and get the police you gotta run out there so I run again like I'm just like oh my gosh this is not good for me so I'm like running as fast as I can I'm like help help there's a squirrel in my house so the officers came back up you guys and they found the, they saw the squirrel when they came in and for that brief moment that I turned my because I was looking at the door because they left the door open I was like let me look and make sure the squirrel leave this time y'all that brief moment that I went to go pick up my camera to tell y'all what was going on I came back to the door and then after that it was like well, we don't see it anymore. It must have had to run out the door. I'm like, this sounds like deja vu with Jeremy saying that the squirrel must have had to run out the door. And the squirrel's here three days later. So I'm like, oh my gosh, you, could, you, you didn't see it for a fact. It's like, it has to have run out. We just checked everywhere. Da, 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 da. So you guys, we're back at square one. They gave me the number though. So I'm about to call them. And I'm about to leave because like I said, I'm going to my dad's birthday dinner. So they will be back here at the same time i'm back here so i can walk in with him again but y'all i cannot believe there's a freaking squirrel in my house and i hope the squirrel did run out the front door but since no one laid eyes on it i gotta move in my own house like there's a whole animal in here um which is so freaking scary so i wanted to tell y'all about my squirrel shenanigans but y'all like i said let me pump real quick so i can head out um so i'll talk to y'all later yeah look at my food at applebee's <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is where my dad wanted to go. He said this is his favorite place. He demolished his food. Meanwhile, they gave me the little ring ink chickens. <laughs> Sis is here. Dad is here. Where did you want to go up to Camp Creek? No, I don't care where we went. I just knew as soon as she said Applebee's, I was disappointed. Well, you should have said Dad Apple for some real. It's your birthday? I thought this My was main thing, Adam, most places at least the chicken stuff is good. What you want these? It's the chicken. I brought clothes.
clothes for them. Look what they have Jaya Bear wearing. <laughs> she has on this cute shirt. Jaya Bear. Jaya Bear. She's getting up and settling in good. Hey.